Sam Insight recently set up additive manufacturing facility of Indian Institute of Science. You can see this uh, alien looking robust brutal machine. It's a metal 3D printer. I'm sitting with uh, Swapnil Bure, one of the pioneers in uh, <laughs> 3D metal printing in the Indian scene. Why is this emergency knob here? Because we are working with laser, if something goes wrong while printing, I just press the emergency. How oh, this machine is superior? This frame, whole thing itself was about uh, two tons. The laser source that we got, that's the state of the art laser. In general, whatever a laser can do for this additive manufacturing process anywhere in the world, I mean, we have all of the features. Nice. In it. So we have a three core fiber laser. The machine part, it's so rugged that even when we run it at its max speed, no vibration at all. So when it goes to one end and then it has to again go back, so it slows down and then comes back, right? All of those small, small acceleration, decelerations would lead to some vibrations. So those are very minimal. In the previous machine that we had access to, you can hear the machine. <laughs> then the laser head. So laser head is where the optics sit. We have collimeter adjustment possible for this laser head. What that allows us to do is change the spot size of the laser. So let's say you do not want so much concentrated heat in a small region. You want larger spot. That can be done. Then we have infrared camera, which looks coaxially through the nozzle from where the laser comes. So that way we can see the melt pool. Then we have inline pyrometer also. So when the laser hits and whatever radiation it emits. So that is captured by the pyrometer and then would give you the temperature reading. How much would it cost? So I think CNC would be some 60 lakhs. The laser head would be about 80 lakhs something. And then the laser source would be around crore. Then there are so many other periods Feral, small, 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 small things. Three CR easily. Yeah. But because this was assembled together, we were able to get all the best that we could get in this much amount. If it is put into a commercial machine, obviously it would be way more expensive. The laser head is coming from Germany. Laser is coming from US. The CNC bed, these people are manufacturing in India. All of this has to be controlled through the program. So they integrated all of that. Hardware and software. That's in Indian and manufacturers. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Interface design associates. They are based out of uh, Navi Mumbai and Nashik. There's another point. We can put this in vacuum so we can do all sorts of the titanium and all the oxidizing materials. They had to take into account even those things while building this. Plus because we have a good collaboration with them, if there would be any feature or something that we would need, they are willing to add on into the software or the hardware part. That gives us a full flexibility to use this machine.